mm -hmm. tell us uh, what brought you here to Taiwan? Well, Shen, you did actually, and I'm here to do whatever you wanted me to do. I mean, that's, that, that's the simple answer. Uh, the reality is that um, I have had enough time to sleep. I've had an oversight of what's happening in the meetings industry in Taiwan. Uh, I've lectured students. Uh, I've spoken to leaders of the meetings industry. I've had a high-level discussion with officials from the Ministry of uh, Foreign Trade, which is the department responsible for the strategic overview of the meetings industry. I've learned a great deal about what's happening here in Taiwan. What's your mm -hmm. uh, impression on your visit here again after 92? Mm -hmm. I've seen Taiwan now over more than two decades. Uh, and the progress is amazing. What's also clear is that, that Taiwan has progressed uh, from being a, a, a copier of other people's products and a low-cost manufacturer to really being a center for R&D and cutting-edge technology. Uh, in terms of the modernity of the city, um, the, there is more international character to the city now than when I first came. What's your mm -hmm. uh, perception on the local you know, meeting industry? I think that the innovation that's going on, well, that, that combined with the, the improving relationships with the mainland China, uh, I think that the opportunity is there for Taiwan to be a bridge between uh, the West or the whole of the rest of Asia and the Chinese market is a very, very real and uh, great opportunity to develop. What's also really clear is that the experience in the trade show side in Taiwan uh, has a big opportunity to be leveraged and turned into more meetings-led business. And I think Taiwan has a very bright future as well.